Get ready for episode eight of the Downtown Podcast. On this episode, we're going to bring Gabe Shepard in to bring you not one, but two breaking announcements about Vegas Tech at South by Southwest. We're going to introduce a brand new record label that just moved into town, and we're going to show you the Startup Weekend winner, Prime. So get ready for all that and more on this episode eight of the Downtown Podcast. All right, welcome to episode eight of the Downtown Podcast. We are lucky enough this week to have the sponsor of the beer here. So we have the CEO of Attain Records. Tell us a little bit about what is going on with you and Downtown Las Vegas. No problem. What up, Vegas? Um, <laughs> my name is Justin Graham, CEO of Attain Records, as he mentioned. Um, Attain Records is a multifaceted record label. We specialize in management, recording albums, and pressing albums, as well as publishing. We also do touring and events for all of our artists. Uh, we're an independent label and we're looking to bring back the use of music in un a little more unconventional ways. We, we're tired of the mainstream sound and we want artists to create again and actually focus on creating and not have to do their own marketing, not have to do their own publicity. Um, so we have an artist, our first debut artist is Q. Um, okay. His EP, Questions No Answers, comes out uh, January 24th. And we just signed a local Vegas talent, DJ Exidian. And are you looking for more talent? Would you like people to email you? And yes. You have an email or anything like that? Yes, you can email uh, at info at attainrecords.com. And we're looking for all types of talent, all across all genres. Um, don't hold back. Send us whatever you have. OK, sounds good. We're excited. We appreciate you in town. And uh, Thank you very much. thanks again. Yeah. OK. Thanks for the beer. Welcome to episode eight. We are in the news round table now, and we are gonna get things started with the Startup Weekend winner. John, tell us about Prime. How did you win this? Uh, you know, the really cool thing about Startup Weekend is that you can come with a fresh idea that you haven't fleshed out at all, recruit a team, and come out at the end of the weekend with, uh, you know, with a product. That's what we did with Prime. Uh, it's a fun, quick way to learn uh, faces, names, and fun facts about people. I know I have a problem, which is I'm terrible with names. I think a lot of people are. Um, so it's really just a game type experience where you can uh, remember all those names, those faces, those fun facts, and walk into a situation and just be able to remember everybody's name and have talking points about them so that you can come in and really just kill the situation. And so how did you gamify learning? Like, What was the thought process and what did you end up with? I mean, I. I I think there have been other things out there which aren't really games about learning, right? Or about names. What we wanted to do is make it fun to learn names, you know? So we have kind of a, a, a game type experience where nine people are presented to you. There's a fun fact presented about one of those nine people and you have to decide who that is. And over time you'll learn all the fun facts, all the faces, all the names. So you can check it out at prime.co. Uh, it's up right now uh, in a beta version, obviously. Um, so go check it out. Okay, and then uh, who are your team members? Like, so who um, did you work with, and are they going to continue being on board? Is this something you're going to take for a while? Or so something that's interesting about the Startup Weekend is you form right there. So um, that's kind of all up in the air. There were some awesome guys from Wedgies, uh, another downtown oh, Vegas. Oh, I heard about yeah. them, yeah. <laughs> another downtown Vegas group. Trouble. And uh, some other guys that just showed up at Startup Weekend. So. Um, and you guys all just meshed pretty well? No very problems? Very well, yeah. There were very little problems. Everybody was cool. So uh, I'm excited about what came out, and we'll see where it goes from here. Yeah, I mean, I certainly think it solves the need I, I could use. You know, I mean, everybody's everybody got a, everybody so, everybody's terrible stuff, with so. names. So, all right, <laughs> well, let's hop on over to Andrea. So, tell us a little bit about the uh, fetish spa parlor. You got an Indiegogo campaign going on right now, and how can people get involved, and what would they be donating to? Sure. So, um, I am a licensed esthetician, which is somebody who's trained to take care of your skin. Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> thanks for defining it. Yeah. <laughs> Takes a while. On my off days, I'm a massage yeah. therapist too, so I'm a complete spa junkie. And I've had a dream for a while to open um, a little day spa that's, um, you know, my dream day spa, my dream small business. And I'm on the second floor of Emergency Arts. I'm uh, in the hallway in front of User Lib, so you guys will probably walk by my signs all the time. And uh, I am on Indiegogo right now because I'm looking to open next month, and I'm looking to. Uh, 
pre-sell services basically. So if anyone's interested in uh, purchasing either a 30 minute or a 60 minute service through my Indiegogo page, you can do that. You can also purchase packages. You can buy gift certificates to share with people. Um, and my, um, my lowest perk is at $5 and you can have your name posted on my uh, website, which is fetishspa.com. And you can use a pseudonym too. I'd like to point out that Bilbo Baggins has not been taken yet. <laughs> and, um, Good notice. So uh, fetishspa.com is my website. Indiegogo.com slash fetishspa is my Indiegogo campaign site. And I have 28 more days on it. I'm currently about 15% funded. So um, I'm looking for local support. And I hope you guys will at least stop by and check it out and say yeah. hi to me at the spa. OK, yeah, no, we definitely. And this is your first one, first Indiegogo? It is, yes. OK, that's good. Well, I'm excited. I think that we can de definitely generate some some money for you. And it's great to have you be part of the community. So thank you. Um, and Brad Feld, let's yes. talk a little bit about that, because that was an awesome presentation he gave yesterday. Yeah, he was here last night, actually, for Launch Up, which was amazing. And he was just talking about, you know, his new book, Startup Communities, which actually everyone there got a copy of. Yeah, but, um, uh, yeah thanks to Trek, he sponsored that, right? Yes, yeah, they yeah Trek about sponsored that, so. 200 books. But, um, Sarah Evans, actually, our guest last week, uh, talked, uh, had an interview with him, and this is one of our favorite clips, actually, from the interview. All right, let's show it. So in your honest and expert opinion, where do you think the Las Vegas startup community is in this, this journey and this process? There's four so principles. One of them, the second one, is that you have to take a very long-term view. The first is that, you, is that the startup community has to be led by entrepreneurs. These entrepreneurs have to take a 20-plus year view, at least a generational view, so it doesn't really matter whether you're in year one, two, five, seven. And in fact, I've been in Boulder now 17 years, and I don't talk about myself being 17 years into a 20-year journey. I talk about myself being 17 years into a 37-year journey. So the idea is that you have to keep looking forward for a very long period of time. And what happens is that a startup community has to view itself as this thing that has this evolution in this time scale that uh, supersedes the macro, like the ups and downs of the economy and the politics and who's in the mayor's office and whatever's happening doesn't really matter that much because you still need to create new companies and you still have to have this energy around creating new companies and continually getting new people, you know, fresh blood into the system in that startup community. So where you are today, I have no idea and I don't think it matters. I think instead of what you should be looking for is what kind of amazing things can you do on this journey that you're on? See, I told you they want to clap for you. I know, man. See, we have all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's good. All right, Gabe. So how did you let such a badass photo out on the internet when you're such a happy guy in general? I look so mean in this picture. Like, this is not true representation. I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to Photoshop oh, the smile into it. Yeah, yeah. The album, yeah the <laughs> I promise every photo from here I'll be, like, super energetic. Yeah. All right. So Vegas Tech is going to South By, and you yes. have big announcements for us. Take the stage. Wow. Are we jumping right into the announcement? No, warm us up, actually. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Well, <laughs> announcement. Oh, like, Smart, man. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I think the, the probably the first thing we want to do is kind of preface what we're talking about, right? Is Vegas Tech at South by Southwest. Uh, long story short, I was I've been going to South by for a few years, and I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't have more of our family from the Vegas Tech community represented at South by Southwest because it's the world's largest stage for what our community is all about. And um, so long story short, uh, I, this is where I met Andy and I met some other great people from Vegas Tech community. I came home with an idea of 30 people in my hotel room partying at South by Southwest. It is Good not idea. that anymore. Uh, it is now about a quarter of a million dollar production uh, that we'll be putting on on behalf of the Vegas Tech community as a whole. Uh, we've raised close to $150,000 from companies in the Vegas community with our headlining sponsor, Switch, tons of startups that are uh, investing in this. Uh, even our man Daniel from Fuller Street Production from LA drove up, who's opening shop in Vegas. Uh, we're talking about um, probably one of the biggest parties at South by Southwest this year is being put on by the Vegas Tech community. We have an 800 square foot trade show piece at the South by Southwest trade show floor. We're gonna be highlighting all the Vegas Tech companies. Uh, we have a cocktail hour. You're going to get to hear about some of the cool things being done right here in our, in our city. 
Um, did you so, know it was going to be this big? I mean, uh, it, no, no, no. They just kept Dude. packing on pieces whenever they saw you not stressed yeah, out or what but, happened. Yeah, I know. I try not to stress out in public, uh, <laughs> but at home I'm in the fetal position in a corner. Uh, no, like, I with mean, that listen, yeah. No, no. Listen, is it a lot of work? Yeah, uh, but let's be realistic. It's, I'm not the one doing most of the work. Uh, most of the work's really being done by the community. Um, you know, I know where my limits are and what I what I'm good at and what I'm not, and so we try to corral the best of Vegas Tech, which we have right. a lot of talent right here. Uh, so we try and get the best startups, you know, to, to come and represent. We've got some of the best companies that are sponsoring us. We want to highlight what is so great about this community, and that's what we're going to do it at South by Southwest. If you think about every startup that's ever launched at South by, right, they, they, they spend tons of money. It's hard to break through. There's so much noise. So my thought process was, rather than the companies that I care about going and trying to promote themselves individually, what if we flip that notion on its head and we represented the community and we market the community first? Vegas Tech is the product, and you apply those same marketing principles to the community. And then subsequently, all our companies and all the cool shit that's happening here. Can I cuss on the podcast? Yeah, well, you oh, did. So, so, so all, all the cool shit that's happening in Vegas, uh, in the Vegas Tech scene, all that cool yeah. stuff uh, gets brought to the surface naturally by promoting the community first. And you know, and things have been done to at South by Southwest, like Canada. You know, Frank and I were talking about. Oh, you're not supposed to be on camera. Oh yeah, uh, not he's not on camera. He's no. not here. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff have been done uh, at South by Southwest um, from cities, but never a regional representation on this scale, um, and a series of events taking place at South by Southwest. So, dude, we're stoked, we're tired, but we're hungry. And uh, the Vegas tech community is going to represent and enforce, man. I have no doubt about it. We've got the best people working on it. Yeah, I got to admit. So this is going to be our first uh, trip to South by, yeah. too. And uh, I think you're right. I think it's going to be bigger than the sum of its parts because um, it does matter as a community what we are. So um, yeah. do you want to introduce us to your friend? Yeah, so, so. <laughs> I'm quiet. Over yeah, yeah. I just, I'm Frank's not, always I'm quiet. Not a, yeah, I'm Frank's a always, we've got to drag it out of Frank. Yeah, right. Uh, so to my right, everybody knows this is Frank Tech Cocktail. Everybody, get a round of applause for Frank Tech Cocktail. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so, so to me, it's funny because Frank to me represents the best of the best in the media world with respect to tech events and things that they're putting on to promote tech companies across the country. Obviously, they moved to Vegas. Uh, they open up shop in Vegas. They're in D.C. as well and a couple other cities. They're doing Tech Week here every month. I mean, they just represent. Um, to, they represent to me the best of the best in highlighting the startup communities across the globe, and we're happy to have them in Vegas. And, and in that vein of what they're trying to do, Frank uh, stepped up to the plate, and his whole company stepped up Tech Cocktail. We're here tonight to announce an official media partnership with Tech Cocktail. They're going to be the official media partner nice. of Vegas Tech at South Southwest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, it's good. It's good. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if you guys know how big this is because South by is so hard to break through. There's so much stuff going on. But Frank and his and his contacts and the people that he's connected with are going to help us promote what we're doing here so much. They're experts at what they do. Um, you know, you see him emceeing and fireside chatting. People, it's amazing. It just kind of comes off his tongue. It's, he's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's on camera for everyone, everyone wants not to just add. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. No, so, thank you so much. It's no, gonna be a lot of fun. Well, and on a personal note, Frank, I mean, it means a lot to me that you stepped up to help the community. I mean, you always do, and uh, we're certainly appreciative of it. Thank so you. looking know, forward to it. Yeah. 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 No, I think it's really interesting to see such a movement from a community that's very community driven. Uh, this is be probably our sixth or seventh South by. Where, and we've done events at a lot of them um, that have brought together, you know, people from around the country. Uh, but it's interesting to see, like, when you know, we've seen Canada has taken a big movement for the entire country of Canada and brought them there. Right. You know? But it's the government usually. It's usually yeah. government driven. Yep. Um, UK does a similar thing. Um, we've seen some cities do like meetups and things. Like DC does a big meetup. Chicago's done a meetup, but nothing to this, you know, extent. Scale, where it's, yeah. yeah, it's a big. So you really scale. feel like it is unique, like from yeah, your experience. Yeah, no, definitely. Yes. That's great. Yeah. 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 yeah it's fun. So, I mean, you know, we're excited. You know, the other thing uh, that is pretty awesome, uh, I think full circle, you know, when I started this whole venture nine months ago, um, the, whole, the whole premise was based on community, right? This was all about benefiting the Vegas Tech community. Uh, so Vegas Tech at South by Southwest was really about promoting what's going on here. And that kind of strikes, you know, hits home. The other thing that I wanted to announce tonight, and, and this kind of brings why we do what we do full circle. You know, we've got Switch and we've got startups, but... Second announcement? Yeah, I got a second. Oh. I, got, I, got, <laughs> oh. I got, yeah, so... It's just a podcast, man, yeah, you know? Podcast. Okay, you know, you know. Also, am I still here or am I not? <laughs> yeah, breaks on the shot? I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, the second announcement is, man, I, I can't tell you how humbled we are how excited we are. I mean, listen, man, Vegas tech community changed my life. I know it's changed a lot of lives. Look at, look at everybody in this room. I know the people that I know in this room because of the Vegas tech movement. I don't know, I didn't know any of these people before. Downtown started hopping, yeah. the Vegas tech started moving. I, 
uh, we owe a lot to this community what's being done and a lot of that has to do with downtown project and the efforts that they're making that is my second announcement give it up for downtown project twenty thousand dollar <laughs> community sponsorship bring it home listen, yeah. listen. This is, what's crazy to me, man, is I think like this effort is so epic in the sense that we've got some of the best resources right here in our home, right? We've got Switch, the data center, the, the largest ecosystem, you know, in terms of connectivity here. We've got Downtown Project completely changing the way people think about downtown, both from a small business perspective and tech startups. We've got Tech Cocktail bringing more attention to the Valley. We've got some incredible startups just smashing it and getting us a lot of attention. You can't knock Vegas anymore. You can't knock Vegas for not having a sense of community. You can't hit on us for not having, not knowing our neighbors and not having a sense of community. This is Vegas Tech, South by Southwest. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, Gabe. Well, as always, it's a pleasure to have you on. Hey, Again, I've got nothing you. else to add. So. Yeah, <laughs> you're not even here. You're not even on the screen, you know? Yeah, awesome. But thanks, thank guys. you, guys. Appreciate yeah, appreciate time. it. Thanks for, making, yeah, thanks for making the announcement. All right, man. Thank all right. you. So let's start this week off with a movie night. On Tuesday, January 15th from 5 to 7 p.m. at UserLib is Urban Permaculture with Jeff Lawton. If you're interested in building a more sustainable Vegas for 2013, be sure to catch this flick. The movie showcases small space gardens and other similar features in cities that can be used to create sustainable abundance. Join the host's Great Basin Permaculture at this event and help them build our urban environment. Following that, on January 18th, is the Nevada International Trade Seminar and Luncheon at Suncoast Hotel and Casino. The Latin Chamber of Commerce kicks off the new year with the first Insight Seminar Series, which brings industry specialists to talk about how to increase your business internationally. During the luncheon, Steve Hill, the Governor's Director of Economic Development, will provide an update on the state's economic plan and what to expect in the upcoming year. On the lighter side of things, and for those gamers in the Valley like myself, in, is Vegas game day on January uh, 19th, Saturday from 2 to 2 p.m. to midnight at UserLib. Whether you're interested in learning a new game or meeting other gamers, this is a place to be. There will be tabletop role-playing games and board games. To view the currently available games and reserve your seat for a particular game, please go to warhorn.net slash Las Vegas, or to volunteer to run a game, contact perry at neoncon.com. Now, the Technology Business Alliance of Nevada, or TBAN, has a new, new logo and new attitude for 2013. Please join them as they celebrate Vegas Tech, Shining Stars, at Moon Night Club at the Palms Hotel. The event will take place Wednesday, January 23rd from 7 to 11 p.m. Tickets on sale now at tban.com. So don't miss out on this illustrious night with Vegas Tech. Now back to the table where we find more about an upcoming grand opening event. All right, I know there's a lot of fashion designers out there in the audience, and we have just the event for you to attend. We have Jen here. She's going to tell us about a new co-working space that's made just for fashion designers, but there's a lot more to it, so let us know. There is. So um, I'm with Stitch Factory. We just opened downtown a couple of months ago, and we've been kind of in the testing soft opening phase. But it's a fashion incubator, um, a creative co-working space, um, and an inspiring kind of educational system as well. So we support in local community and designers, fashion designers, and we also curate them and have the systems and the network to help them then take that idea and put it out into the market. Um, we also have the whole educational side where we can teach people that might be into design or sewing and can give them those skill shares to be able to learn and, and become a designer or just sew. So is the educational piece a good way to get involved? Is that Absolutely. Yeah, we have classes almost every day. So if it's sewing 101, pattern making, or even um, social classes of you know, making wine bags or headbands. So we have those on our site, stitchfactory.com. And do you, have to, do you have to be a fashion designer, or can yeah. you just be into this and yeah. like ready to learn? Yeah, like, who's just, it for? It's like, for anyone and everyone. Like, we have a mom and daughter coming in on Friday to make headbands, um, people that are beginners or non-beginners, and just, I mean, we really cater to everyone. So there's the design studio for actual professional fashion designers, and then there's the educational side for people that want to learn. Um, we also have a startup shop for designers to be able to have a space to sell their goods as well. So, and then we... Um, Learn more if you come yeah. to our grand opening, which is uh, January 17th from 7.30 to 10.30 um, is our grand opening. It's 1940s theme, 
and uh, we'll have a fashion show at nine. That's close to style, yeah. Yeah. I'm in. in. So the fashion show is at nine, and we have about eight designers that will be in the fashion show. So come see us on Thursday. Awesome. Okay, you gonna be there? I'm totally going. Me Done too. Sold. I'm in. I'm gonna start learning my fashion design right now. So if you wanna grab your beer, we're yep. gonna cheers to the end of the show. Cheers. So thank you guys for coming to episode eight. Uh, we appreciate it. And we will see you next week on the downtownpodcast.tv. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, you really yeah, shine. Awesome. Yeah. Downtown project. Like a flashback, Vegas Tech, don't forget to spell it with the hashtag.